As legislative director, I kind of wear a lot of hats. I help manage the congressman's floor activity, um, monitor what's going on, what bills we're going to be voting on. Um, I go through kind of all the bills we're voting on that day, research them, you know, consult with the legislative assistants, make final vote recommendations, you know, walk through all of that with the congressman each day. Then also, I do handle a portfolio of issues for him, so I deal with all of his agriculture, trade, energy, defense, and veterans affairs issues. So that can be anywhere from drafting legislation in those areas, writing his floor statements, meeting with constituents on those topics. I think it's amazing, especially this Congress, the issues that I've had the chance to work with the congressman on. You know, you get pulled into his office and you get to hear the inner dealings that he, and conversations he's had with other members. You're talking to, you know, organizations from Iowa and constituents to get their side of the issue. So you're getting a really complete picture that you wouldn't get necessarily if you weren't working in this office. So it's been really amazing some of the issues we've worked on, like health care and student aid and you know all the stuff that's going on with the economy that we've done to address that, the issues that we're working on are really monumental and that does strike me. I wouldn't call it a burden, I think I'd call it one of the best learning experiences of my life. Um, I've been handling health care for about a year and a half now and I started you know right before the big climax of the health care debate and it's just it's been an intense learning experience to see how reform this big affects the public, how, what goes through the legislative process, and how I can best help the congressman. So. What we do here, you know, we all bring kind of our backgrounds with us. So when we're looking at legislation, I always look at how, this, how is this going to affect rural America? But also, you know, the small towns, a lot of people, the doctor that lives in the small town, how is this going to affect them? You know, he's a doctor for a town of 4,000 at the local hospital. Um, it's those types of things that I think I bring from living in rural America. And also from the veteran standpoint, I definitely, you know, it's, it's when we're looking at, you know, revamping the VA or when we recently redid the, the created the post 9-11 GI Bill for kind of the new type of veteran we have. You know, I went to college on the GI Bill. I used it. You know, I've gotten care at the VA system in Iowa. I've been to the VA in Des Moines. I've been to the VA in Iowa City. I've been to a community-based outpatient clinic up in my near my hometown in Dubuque. So I know what veterans are going through. It is a lot, you know, especially being from Newton. I mean, I'm from the county seat of Jasper County, um, right in the congressman's district. And I mean, he was one of the first politicians that I ever voted for. So it means a lot that I'm a, I'm a constituent of his. Most of my family is his constituents. A lot of the people I went to high school with are his constituents. So I'm not just helping him work for his entire district. I'm helping him work for my neighbors, and I'm helping him work for my family. So I think I have the advantage of being from Iowa and understanding you know, what the typical background is that an Iowan is approaching this news with. You know, we understand ag issues, we understand veterans issues, we have such a rich history in politics in general because we're bombarded you know, every campaign. So I think my background in being an Iowan helps that and I think that's why the congressman you know, has such an Iowan heavy staff. Consult with him every day and sometimes six, eight, ten times a day. Uh, the congressman has an open door policy they did go very well and I attribute a lot of that to the congressman. I the first town hall that we did, I mean we were nervous. We were watching other people's town halls, we were taking notes, we were trying to figure out what are people's biggest questions, what are their biggest problems with the bills so that we would have answers for them and that's one of the, that's been the driving fuel of so much of this is people are so involved and that's it's one of the most amazing things to see the American people and see them so engaged in this process of building health care reform. And they've kept us on our toes night and day. I mean, we want to have answers for them. And we, when he walked into that first town hall in Sigourney, he kind of set the tone. He opened it up with a very personal story. He told everyone, we're here to listen to each other. It's definitely a go, go, go kind of environment. and. You never know when the congressman is going to wander into your cube and ask you what you think. It's a long process. The legislative process is long and enduring, and you've got to be committed to the end goal or at least compromising on things. Some people are upset that there have been concessions made and that, you know, they're not getting exactly what they wanted. 
but I think about Ted Kennedy in that he said his biggest regret is not taking Nixon's offer when President Nixon was going to give him some concessions on health care reform. And I think that we need to follow in the steps of that leader and take what we can get to move the country forward from where it is now. I think that Congressman agrees with that as well. And I didn't imagine that a member of Congress was that, you know, hands-on with their staff. And he looks at everything that leaves this office. So I think that's important to know. He knows, you know, what we're saying. And it definitely, it comes from him and it comes from his mind and his heart. Really privileged to work here and a really privileged to work for a man like the congressman because, um, you know, he, you know, I'm doing what I love right now. I mean, it's a, it's a hard job. You work a lot of hours, and you can work weekends. But I'm really doing what I love, and I feel very privileged to be able to do that. And I feel very privileged to be able to work for a man like the congressman.